Hi everyone, I'd like to share with you today how to make these fall leaves and it's very easy and with uh, things you've got at home and if we have time I will also do an art journal page and maybe a tag. So uh, to begin uh, this project you need uh, the white layers from a paper napkin like so I've taken I've uh, cut a smaller piece just so uh, to be in frame and if you don't any paper napkins uh, or if you haven't um, kept these two uh, layers then you can use paper towel you can use uh, regular paper napkins if you've got white or a uh, yellow will work and you use them I'm going to spray this with a uh, handmade sprays that I make from uh, gel food coloring if you don't have gel food coloring there are other options you can use this are just few drops of gel food coloring with water if you don't have that you can use the powder from textile dye and if you ha don't have that the easiest and cheapest way to make sprays is to take felt pens take out the filler from the inside cut it to small uh, pieces put it in the bottle with water and you have a spray and I don't have a recipe the only thing is you put drops and water until you are satisfied with the color you've got now I've got here some deep red a yellow orange uh, some brown and olive but you can pick whatever colors are you like for your fall leaves I'm spraying uh, this randomly I've got two uh, plies here and I find that it's better to spray on something uh, like uh, plastic or uh, some um, <laughs> uh, some nylon uh, and not uh, on top of a towel uh, it's better to use on something that won't absorb all the spray because then it spreads uh, better and it's uh, even the ply that underneath because I've got two plies here will uh, have a better uh, color on it and this is quite random and however you want it with whatever colors you like and I let the colors blend in between I really like it that way again do what feels right to you and of course you don't have to use all this color if you want your leaves to be more brown then use more brown if you want them more red use more red just do whatever feels right to you and I can also go over if I feel that one color is just too much like if here I've got this uh, deep red and it's too much I'm all going over with the the orange and I feel I need more of the olive green here so here it is now you need to let it dry completely you can use your heat tool but be very careful it is just a paper napkin it's very delicate so I'm moving this aside I've already made some and I'm moving also the sprays so we'll have more room to work and here are the other that I've made now of course when, uh, here I've got two plies and I need to separate them and I like the both of the of the results of course the the top one will be more um, saturated and this will be more faded but I use uh, both of them and I like the both results here I've already done some and here are more of the plies so now you need to pick some 
live patterns from the internet there are lots of, uh, of website with free images that you can print I've printed this if uh, it's easy to search for it you free printable leaf fall leaves uh, you can also do a search for a uh, coloring pages most of uh, the website for children with a uh, coloring pages will have something like that and you just pick the the leaves that you want to use so I've printed uh, this and this and as you can see I that's the <laughs> the piece that is missing here I just glued it to my um, leaves with white a uh, regular white glue and I'll move this aside for now and this also and that's the great thing about paper napkins they are a a little bit translucent and you can do whatever you want and play with it and see uh, through it like if I want more of the red in one of the leaves or more of the yellow I can play with it and decide where I, I'm gluing each one like if I want this one and I want it to pick a little bit of the red and all of this then that's what I'm going to use so I'm just going to roughly cut a piece just so it will be easier for now And it's quite simple you just take a little bit of glue just make sure that all the edges have glue on them placing it where I want it and I like also to crunch it a little bit so I will have texture it adds to the whole uh, motif of the leaf and it looks more like it has veins and texture so now I've scrunched it up and you can do as many or uh, less as you want again optional if you like it to have texture or if you, if you don't like it to have texture if I don't like it here I'm lifting it uh, very gently and smoothing it out and I'm putting a glue on top to seal everything into place and use the flat of the brush to smooth it over and be very gentle don't drag the paper napkin just glide on top of it so here it is and I can do as many or one as I want this needs to dry so here I've got these three leaves that I've already uh, glued down and two ways to go about it like if you want a tag then it's better to uh, glue this down to some uh, cardboard so it will be more stiff right now it's just printer paper and it's very flimsy and as you can see once I, I fussy cut it it even a little bit curls of course I can put it under something heavy and flatten it but that's how it looks uh, when it's only on printer paper so if you want to uh, have it more uh, stiff more uh, substantial then glue it down to some cardboard it can be as plain as a cereal box or uh, any 12 by 12 you have and you don't use it you can use it on top of it and then fussy cut it it's easier to put it uh, on some hard surface and then cut it if no, if you want to leave it on printer paper you just take uh, some scissors and fussy cut it I'm using a nail scissor it's easier to go about it and to use the curve of the scissors to my advantage but you don't have to it can be as simple or as <laughs> elaborate as you want it you don't have to go into all the details it's really up to you 
right now I'm just cutting the general shape of the leaf maybe later I'll go into finer details like all this jagged edges the leaf has like so so now I've got this leaf and you can embellish it as much as you want and there are a, a lot of ways to go about it one sample here is the tag that I've done and as I said I've glued it to a hard surface this is just plain cereal box a cardboard and then I took some bronze acrylic paint and put it in a bottle with a very fine nozzle and just went over all this details of the skeleton of the leaf to add interest like so this is one way to go about it and I'm doing the jagged edges with this again you can do as more or less details as you want oops just smeared a little bit with my finger I'm doing it quickly just so I can show you other options and I'm moving it aside to dry of course then when it's dry just I've punched a hole and put an eyelet and some ribbon so this is the tag now next and let me just wipe here before I smear everything okay moving along now another uh, ways to decorate and make more interesting details to your leaf you can just take some permanent marker and go all over the details like so very simple and all the the lines you've got here another way is to go about it with a this is a Posca pen gold and I can go over the details with gold if I feel it here you can uh, hardly see it if I had a more a, a darker leaf then it would be great another uh, thing that you can do to add details to your uh, leaf is if you've got a lot of wrinkles a lot of texture then you can go with an ink black ink pad and gently I don't have a lot of details here but I will try and very gently go over the texture so the black would be picked on all the wrinkles of the paper napkin and then you've got like more veins to your uh, leaf so that's and you you don't have to use black if you want to use brown or a deep red it's just up to you what you want to use what colors so another one moving aside and let's do some very very quick uh, art journal page with the leaves and I'm going to go away. I want to gesso this page and then we'll continue. I'll be back. I'm back. So I want to do some kind of background for my leaves and I took some gray and two uh, shades of some bluish, uh, grayish <laughs> paint. And these are just from my cheap store. No brand, no nothing. This is Blue Bouquet. From decor art and I'm just putting 
this randomly on my page. taking a baby wipe and I want to just smear everything and as I said it's random I don't care where everything goes just so I will have nice coverage with a little bit of blending and interest and if I feel I need more in some place I'll just add to dab a little bit just so I won't have too much of this swirly effect and I want more gray so I'm adding quite a nice beginning of a background Okay, leaving it be, this needs to dry, I'll be back. I'm back. This is uh, dry, I want to add details to my background and I'm going to stamp some leaves. I'm using a black archival ink and I'm stamping randomly on my page, don't quite care where it goes. <laughs> just adding to the whole thing enough stamping and now I want to add some um, circles in the back this is a stamp I've made just from fun uh, craft foam and I've got here a folk art a pearl white and I hope it will show on my page I'm putting down a little bit with my finger on the circles just to add more interest to the background and another one here and I think it's this is quite enough maybe a little bit of what was left on uh, <laughs> this uh, stamp and now I want to glue down my uh, leaves but I need to uh, for this to dry basically the leaves that I'm using are these and as you can see I went over them with black permanent marker so I'm waiting just for this to dry and then I'll uh, and glue this uh, leaves and I'll be back I'm back so everything is dry the leaves are glued down now I want to add some uh, shadowing to the leaves just to make everything look a, a little bit more dimensional and I'm using a uh, stabilo oil and I'm just putting down underneath the shape of the leaf a little bit of the black and I'll activate it with water in a minute okay. 
you can apply as little or as <laughs> as much as you want you can go all over and now I thought about doing the edges but I'll leave it be now I'm taking some a uh, paint brush very small one with just a little bit of water and going to activate the, the stabilo just to make it look more dimensional now it, even uh, now the leaves that you have if you don't like the color or you want them more uh, detailed you can still add whatever you want to them you can go uh, in with the sprays of course not <laughs> when they are glued to the background but you can go over them with the sprays you can go over them with gelatos or even with lipstick and add some shading if i want more uh, a little bit more red uh, somewhere i can just add either gelatos or lipstick or eyeliner or any uh, um, like watercolor pencils that you can smear like so so I have this is the shading I wanted and I want a little bit more here and here like so and let's add a little bit here yeah and just for example if I want a little bit red on this leaf I'm taking a gelato and I'm putting down here taking a little bit of a uh, water activating it and just adding as much as I want like so so you still uh, can work on your leaf and add details as much as you want this is my page I <laughs> am finished and I just wanted to show you just another option uh, so we had the tag and the tag the tag that I've made now and is still wet because it has a lot of acrylic paint here and another option uh, for uh, this leaves are making greeting cards and I took here some watercolor paper and uh, I've masked with a uh, washi tape and made this a uh, <laughs> frame and I just smeared some uh, inks on the inside you can use whatever you want you can use gelatos you can uh, use chalk pastels I stamped uh, around and now I can take take one of the leaves that I've got like this one or this one and add it to this greeting card and again I can mm, add shadow I can do many things so these are just a few uh, ideas for you to play with uh, this kind of uh, leaves so this is it for now I hope you liked it I hope you'll have fun making some leaves Thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.